The Thanksgiving Classic at Southern National Motorsports Park is almost here. We finally have a list of the 28 late model stock car teams that will be competing in the Thanksgiving Classic at Southern National Motorsports Park. So let's get into this list here. This is over at RacingAmerica.com. Before we get into the list, uh, please ask that you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos and help support uh, stock car racing throughout the United States. So here we go. This is the list. Double Zero Chase Burrow. He is a regular on the Cars Tour, also competes uh, around the area. I've seen him a couple times at Dominion. I think that Double Zero car is the car that he races uh, at, at Dominion rather than the eight car that he usually races at the car store. So I think he might be competing in his family uh, owned car. Brennan Queen, Lee Pulling Performance number, number D zero 03. I'm not sure if he's going to be racing in the Lee Pulling Performance car, if he's going to be racing in his family car. Always, always a top competitor. Finished just five points behind Carson Quaffle in the car store. Uh, 2023 championship finished in second. Ronnie Bassett Jr., top competitor in the car store. Mason Bailey, a regular at uh, both South Boston and Dominion this year. Alex Fleming, I'm not really familiar with that driver. We got Cody Bryant, Deke McCaskill, uh, veteran on the car store, one of the top late model stock car competitors around the Mid Atlantic area. We got Trent Barnes, always always a solid solid competitor. Andrew Grady, car store regular. Uh, Clay Jones, I'm not really familiar with him. Adam Resnick, Garrett Bird, Jake Crum, Jared Fryer, former Cars Tour uh, competitor. Ryan Millington, former Hickory uh, track champion. Caden Honeycutt finished second in the South Carolina 400 uh, this past weekend to Cade Brown. Uh, Truett Monkey Miranda, Josh Dickens, Cole Bruce, a regular at Dominion Raceway. Aaron Donnelly, who used to be a regular at Dominion, now races down at South Boston. Uh, Dylan Newsom, Jonathan Finley, Cars Tour regular. I uh, won a race at Dominion a couple years ago in the car store. Michael O'Brien, Josh Berry, obviously NASCAR Cup Series competitor, has been teaming up with Rodney Childers uh, over the past couple weeks uh, to get kind of acquainted with each other and get that Kevin Harvick late model uh, program up to snuff as they probably, hopefully, will race full-time, get someone in there full-time in the car store, really go head-to-head -head with uh, Lee Pulling Performance and Junior Motorsports. Uh, Katie Hettinger, uh, she finished second in the Car Store Pro Late Model Series this year. Uh, Dean Schiffler, she was also the first time, uh, first female to win a Carolina Pro late model uh, race uh, during the uh, Hickory Fall Brawl. Uh, then we got Dean Schifflet, uh, Adam Murray, and Doug Barnes Jr. Always, always a uh, someone to look out for on kind of these um, longer form races. He's really good at usually saving his stuff and having something there at the end to compete. Uh, showed that when he won the icebreaker at South Carolina earlier this year. So that is your 28 car field. Uh, interestingly enough, we will have some some there's some interesting stuff happening at the track. We got this from Doug Barnes Jr. He said uh, Southern National Motorsports Park sealed their top lane, and they're putting resin down on Thursday in an effort to have multi-lane racing for this weekend's race. Uh, Mason, he's talking about Mason Diaz, uh, fellow competitor in late mile stock series, told me they want a dirt track on asphalt. He says this is going to be sick. Uh, lots of people in the comments are saying that uh, R.J. Williams, part of uh, Lane of Huffman Racing, basically challenging him to go in and race that top lane. And Doug Barnes Jr. said he will indeed try it. So we'll see if that happens. Uh, we had some uh, other people kind of being a little bit more negative on it. Uh, you had Matt Weaver here also kind of saying for the Thanksgiving late model stock classic this weekend at Southern National, Mike Diaz has repaved the top and added PJ1 and a resin down the middle. Um, restarts are going to be something. Uh, Rodney Childers, who is crew chiefing the uh, number 62 car with Josh Berry in it, so just put sealer on the top where it's black and resin in the third lane. It has a great opportunity to be a disaster without a vacuum truck and something to keep the resin area clean off. If it gets a lot of stuff stuck to it, it will be like ice praying for the best. So he's a little bit nervous about what they're doing uh, with the track and, and what it could do. So we have a little bit different opinion on there. As for the schedule, uh, it's very similar to how the South Carolina 400 was supposed to be uh, run. Unfortunately, they didn't actually do that. Uh, we're supposed to get uh, late model stock qualifying on Saturday. Beginning around 1.15 p.m., you see late model stock car, single car qualifying. Uh, the top 20 are locked in, and the remaining will run a last chance race on Sunday. So if we scroll down and we look at the schedule for Sunday, uh, things are supposed to start at 12.30. There's supposed to be a late model stock car, last chance race number one, with the top four advancing, and then a late model stock car, last chance race number two, with four with the top four advancing. So uh, my guess is they're going to do like Florence, and they're going to scrap that because they only have 28 cars. So those eight cars would be advancing anyways. So they'll probably just run. Uh, everyone kind of qualifies and they, they'll start with that. We'll see what happens when, when they get to the race. Uh, but that is kind of what they did at Florence. It's unfortunate. 
but that's kind of the adjustments you have to make when maybe you're not getting as many cars as they would have liked. But 28 cars is still a very, very stout field for late mile stocks. I'm really looking forward to it. We got a 250 lap race. Should be really, really good entertainment. There are some top drivers here, so it should be uh, great racing, and I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know what you make of what's going on down there at Southern National Motorsports Park. What do you make of this field? And let me know who you are pulling for to win the Thanksgiving Classic. Leave a comment below.